Orthotics before and after. Do they actually make a difference? Hi guys, it's Kent here from DocPods Podiatry and today we'll be having a look at the effect that an orthotic has on the amount of pronation on a patient walking on the treadmill. So we'll be able to clinically measure how much their foot pronates before and how much their foot pronates after the orthotic. Okay, so you can see our patient walking on the treadmill here, and it's a little bit difficult to see in full speed, so we'll need to slow it down, but their right foot is actually pronating a lot more than their left. Now, when we add the bisection lines and pause the video, it's easy to see that this foot rolls towards the midline of the body, or over pronates, and it does it about around 10 degrees. Now, a normal level of pronation in someone this age would be around four degrees. So this patient is well outside of what we would consider a normal level of pronation. So when the foot pronates like this, it makes it very difficult for the body to propel off the foot because the foot becomes a loose bag of bones. So if we have a look at our foot model here, you can see this is a left foot and this is the inside. So you can see that when the foot pronates and rolls in like this, all these little joints and ligaments unlock in the foot and you can see the gaps open right up. So it makes it very difficult for the, for the foot to propel off this. And this is partly the reason why people whose feet pronate more are more likely to get aches and pains and more likely to suffer injuries. So what we do to help this is we support the foot with a, an orthotic inner sole. So it helps to keep the arch up, helps to keep the foot nice and straight on the ground, not too rolled in. And we put it in a great shoe to help to cushion and support the foot further. So we'll go back to the video now. We'll have a quick look at how this foot performs once we've supported it with an orthotic inner sole and a good shoe. So this is the video of the same foot walking on the treadmill at the same speed. And you can already see at full speed that the foot's rolling in less, but it's easy to see when we slow the video down and pause it and add the bisection lines on again. You can see now that the foot is only rolling in around three degrees rather than the 10 degrees that it was before. You can clearly see the large difference here when we lay the without orthotics and with orthotics over the top of one another. So there's an example of how an orthotic inner sole can help to limit overpronation on a patient on the treadmill. This in turn will help to limit the amount of arch collapse and aches and pains in the feet and lower limbs due to muscle fatigue and overuse. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It's very simple to do and it really does help us out. If you'd like more information on the topics discussed, please check out the links in the description and this will take you to our website where we can discuss these in more detail. If there's a specific question that you have or you'd like answered, please comment in the comments section and we'll do our best to make a video to address this. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.